I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to find exact value of trigonometric ratios using compound angles. The example here is to find the exact value of sine minus pi by 8. So let's begin to write this function as a related acute angle function. We can write sine minus pi by 8. Let me write down here sine minus pi by 8 as equal to what? When I say minus pi by 8, that means we are in quadrant 4, right? Minus pi by 8 means something like this. You are in quadrant 4. And in quadrant 4, sine is negative. You know, all are positive here. Sine is positive in quadrant 1 and 2, but negative in 3 and 4. In 4 only cosine is positive. The related acute angle is pi by 8. Now since sine is negative in quadrant 4, we will expect a negative value and the acute angle is pi by 8 and therefore we can write this as sine pi by 8. Right? So that is the first step. So always get whatever you want to find in terms of the related acute angle. So that should be the first step. Now we we'll look for a relation pi by 8. How is it related with something which we know? Well, we know what pi by 4 is, right? Sine pi by 4, we have a special triangle. Mm, let me draw here. Now in this special triangle, if I take this angle as pi by 4, in that case, these two sides are equal. If they are equal to square root 2, then hypotenuse is 2. So we know that sine pi by 4 is equal to square root 2 over 2. But we don't know what pi by 8 is. How are they related? Well, 2 times pi by 8 is equal to pi by 4. So 2 times pi by 8 is equal to pi by 4. That means that we could apply double angle formula. Is that clear? So that gives us a hint that we could apply a double angle formula to find this value, right? Now, for benefit of some students who do not remember the double angle formula, let me derive it here. So uh, we know what we know what cos a plus b is, which is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So if I write b equals to a. In that case, we get cos of A plus A, which will be cos A cos A minus sine A sine A. That is to say, cos of 2 times A is equal to cos square A minus sine square A. Correct? Since we want to work with sine, let me write cos square A as 1 minus sine square A. Then we have uh, 2 minus sine square a, right? So I could write this as 1 minus 2 sine square a is equals to cos 2a. So in a way, we have related angle a with twice the angle. Do you see that? We have related angle a as twice the angle. So uh, we could say twice of this angle is pi by 4 so 2 times a is if I now substitute here let me say a as equal to pi by 8 in that case twice a will be 2 times pi by 8 or pi by 4 do you get get an idea right so so we have a relation which links the two 
If I rearrange this, since we need to find what sine squared sine a is, that is pi by 8, this value, then see what happens. Now, I'm writing this formula on the right side and we'll apply it here. We basically need to find what minus sine pi by 8 is, right? So, from here, I'm rearranging my equation and writing it there, deriving the formula. So, I'll take 2 sine square a on the left side. So, I get 2 sine square a equals 2. Taking cos 2a on the right side, I get 1 minus cos 2a or sine square a equals to 1 minus cos 2a divided by 2 and we'll do square root to get the value of sine a square root of 1 minus cos 2a over 2 now that is the derivation which many of you will know about in general we write pi by uh, plus minus right so that becomes the formula for sine a. Now we can calculate the value of whatever we need. We need minus sine pi by 8. So I'm writing minus sine pi by 8 equals 2. Now since pi by 8 is in this quadrant, we know we have to take positive value. I've already taken minus outside. So I'll take... Uh, uh, positive value of pi by 8 so then this minus is for that minus okay and sine pi by 8 is an acute angle so we'll take positive value of this so basically it is negative of 1 minus 2 times this is cos 2 times pi by 8 let me write like this first over 2 so that is equal to minus so remember, we are going to get a negative value since sine is in quadrant. Sine minus pi by 8 is in quadrant 4. So now we have here pi by 4 and we know what cos pi by 4 is. Cos pi by 4 is also equal to square root 2 over 2. So we'll substitute it here. So we get 1 minus square root 2 over 2 divided by 2. You can take this common. So we get 2 minus square root 2 divided by 4 within the square root with a negative sign because of this negative sign and that can be simplified and written as minus half of within square root 2 minus square root 2 so that becomes the exact value for sine pi by 8 right so for the benefit of many of my viewers who may not remember how we get to this formula I did all this right but in case you know what the formula is you can actually start from here so this formula relates the angle with double angle it is also sometimes called half angle formula since you could write this as half of theta by 2 and take that as theta that could be done let me rewrite this formula as half angle formula so I could write this as sine theta by 2 equals 2 plus minus square root of 1 minus cos theta divided by 2. So now this will be called half angle formula. So you see how in compound angle all the formulas are related. It's not difficult to remember them. You can always start with general a plus b formula, substitute a equals to b, and then derive double angle formula, and then make a substitution a equals to theta by 2 to get half angle formula. So all these formulas are very much related, and I hope this video also helps you to understand the link between these formulas. I hope you understand and appreciate what we have done in this video. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.